Semi-final one, Jack Holder on the inside in the red helmet colour. Gate number two in blue is Kim Nielsen. Gate three for Max Frick with the white helmet colour. And Freddie Lingen in the yellow helmet colour will go from the outside. Freddie's had a tough night as well. Typical Freddie Lingen performance tonight. Gritty, determined and uh, just battled his way. Had a disqualification in his first ride, but since then, no worse than second. Yeah, you said it, he battles his way to uh, the points that he gets, and he's earned every single one of them, but he put himself under so much pressure by getting the exclusion in his opening race. Can he put pressure on uh, Smarzik now by making the final? He's uh, 22 points behind, so uh, mathematically, it's still on. Comfort zone for Smarzlik. Hasn't been a great night for Smarzlik. Below par, no race win, but uh, miraculously he's in the semi finals. A little bit of good fortune, you would suggest there. Max Frick coming out of gate three. I hope that works for Max, but because uh, that was a, a slightly surprising choice, but uh, he's been in good form this evening. Here we go then, first semi of the evening. Green light is on. Tapes are up and we're underway. Holder's made it on the inside. Fabulous start from him. He just can do no wrong tonight. Roaring round, round the outside. Here comes Freddie. Holder lifted violently down the back straight. That killed his momentum. And Lindgren was there, ready to pounce. Frickett has a word out of gate number three. Nielsen's through in the second place, but Freddie Lindgren throwing the gauntlet down to Smarslick now. Oh, yeah, fantastic opening lap from Freddie Lindgren. Just got the right to work. I didn't think it would after the track race, but Jack Holder Holder now just doing what he's got to do. I tell you what, if he can hang on to this second place and make the final, that will have been a fantastic night for him. Here we go then. Just over a lap to go for fast Freddie Lingren and took advantage of Holder just lifting down that back straight. But for Holder, nonetheless, he's set for the final, which is an achievement in itself, a miraculous achievement. Lingren, though, showing great determination. He's in the final and so is Holder. Coming out of the last corner with only one hand on his handlebar. Can you believe what that man's doing tonight? Nielsen misses out and Frick does as well. But Lingren, he hasn't given up this chase, has he? Desperate to be world champion for the first time and is in the final again. Lingren wins. Second place, Jack Holder, Kim Nielsen and Max Frick missing out in semi-final number one. Just sense that that Freddy's moment down the back straight there where Holder lifted, just killed his momentum, had to hang on to the bike, feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And Freddie was there ready to pounce, but Holder nonetheless through. Absolutely superb. Yeah, small mistake from Holder, just opened the door for Freddie Lindgren and took the pressure right off, got himself in front, comfortably out there. Gets the bike to work quite well after the track race, didn't think that uh, he would get the traction out there, but he does. There's the mistake, bike the lifting. One? Yeah, yeah, bike lifting violently think, there for, yeah, for uh, Jack. Yeah. And, uh, of course, he's uncomfortable. We know that he's not going to have a lot of strength in his hand. Wow. But, uh, yeah, I mean, great control there from the lad. See how hard he had to shut the throttle off there. Very quickly. And, yeah, very, <laughs> very quickly indeed. And Freddie was ready to pounce, so he's in with hold up. Semi-final two for you now, and uh, what a moment it is. Can the championship just squeeze up a wee bit with uh, Freddie guaranteed 14 points by finishing fourth in the final? Okay, guys, good luck. Let's go. So his, uh, second semi-finalists are on their way out. What a moment for Robert Lambert as well. He's made finals. I believe he's made four finals in his career so far. Well, won his last three races as well, and so he's, he's looking great. Right. Yeah, he's had four finals and no wins so far, so we are an appropriate time to change that. Arthur Schmarzlick, on the other hand, has had 22 wins and he's had four this year. And as you rightly say, you wouldn't put it past him winning again here. But he hasn't looked like a winner tonight. He's had a scrap for everything. It really hasn't uh, been his evening at all. Martin Vasilik looking to uh, resist the challenge from Jack Holder. Going along nicely as well. Another thoroughly professional performance from the Slovakian. So I here we go then. I can't help but think that Smyslik's crew will throw everything at this. He's got the worst gate. He hasn't had a good night. I, I would imagine they've made big changes for this race. Wouldn't be a surprise at all. Wouldn't be a surprise at all. They, as you rightly say, they've got everything to gain, nothing to lose at this stage. So Patrick Dudek on good form tonight. He's had a couple of race wins. Looking good. But 
uh, of course, the home crowd here right behind Robert Lambert. They want to see him go through to the final. Not going to be easy. There's some uh, all riders at this stage are going great guns. It's just beginning to settle down. Martin Vasilic doing uh, work overtime on the inside. Robert Lambert elected to go from gate number two. Line up then for semi-final number two. Martin Vasilic on the inside in red. Gate number two in blue is Robert Lambert. Gate number three in white. Bartosz Smarslik and Dudek off the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Here we go then. Who's going to join the finalists? Holders there. Freddie Lingwin's there as well. First two go through, tense moments, here we go. Tapes are up, Smarslik hasn't made it, but Vasilik has. Lambert's out of shape, Smarslik now trying to go around the outside, Lambert's coming up the inside. Look at Smarslik, hunched over the handlebars, charging around the outside. Brilliant move from him, Lambert has been relegated. Oh my goodness gracious me, and Smarslik hasn't been in front all night long, and the completion of one lap, he's there. You just cannot script it. I had a feeling that things have changed for Smarsdick coming into this race. They had absolutely nothing to lose. And I tell you what, he's found the speed that's taken him to the top of the standings. Wow. And, uh, well, he's going to extend it, I think, tonight. He's flying out in front, Martin Vasilik in second place. Robert Lambert is going to be bitterly disappointed. He was in such great form coming into the semi-final, but he doesn't look like he's going to be a finalist now. But Bartosz Smarsdick, he just cannot keep a good man down. And where did he find it from? What a ride that was. Stunning move on the opening lap. And fired himself to the front. And in his sixth ride this evening, he does win a race, which is extraordinary in itself. And he's in the final. And so is Martin Vasilik. I've never seen him celebrate like this unless he's won the final. I think that that in itself was a victory for him. A big it victory. was. Indeed it was. And you wouldn't put it past him now going on to win the final. Bartosz Marslik through to the final. Stunning ride in semi-final number two. Martin Vasilik following him through. He's in the grand final. Robert Lambert bitterly disappointed, celebrating. British fans um, uh, on their feet for him, but uh, no final for him. But that's why he's a world champion, isn't it? Three times over and uh, almost uh, looking like a champion once again. Bartosz Smarsley, what an incredible turnaround this is. Yeah, it is. He uh, doesn't make a good start. Gate three really not performing for anybody. Robert Lambert, great move up the inside of Martin Vashnik there. And you've got to think at this point that uh, Lambert's going to get himself into the final, but Smarsley suddenly appears into shot. He's generated all the speed on the uh, opening two corners just elects to ride right around the outside for the first time tonight the bike actually looks like it's pulling the bike looks like it's got speed and uh, he just drops across uh, Martin Vasilik there and once he hits the front looks pretty comfortable you can always tell when Smarsik's really on it and he's got that style hasn't he, he hunches over the bike and we saw it there to great effect and yeah, he, the bike uh, was working for him it there. was indeed yeah it was going forward it was behaving itself and they finally figured it out